Now that I've inserted my text and I've assigned paragraph styles to my body text, to my subheading, and to my heading, I need to go and start changing how this looks. First of all, with my heading, I'm going to double click on heading 1, and over here on the left you can see all the options that you can do to this text. So what I want to do first of all, basic, basic character formats, I'm going to click on this one. I want to change the font because it is a heading, I'm going to change it to a sans serif font, Arial, make it easier to read, and I want the font a little bit larger, so I'm going to change it to 18. I, there's a lot of other options you can do. For right now, we're going to stick with that one. Go ahead and select OK. Now, I've done that, and it's changed the heading, but it also has done it wherever this paragraph was selected. So what I need to do is select inside of this paragraph and change that back to body text. Notice how it adjusts the text, but it also adjusted up here where my heading text was. Now, my subheading text right here, subheading 2, I can go ahead and adjust this as well. And I'm going to change this to basic format. I'm going to change it also to Arial. And I'm going to change it to Arial italic, and I'm going to keep it at uh, point size 12 right here and select OK. Now I can move this around wherever I want it to be. I'm going to go ahead and do that. And looking the, at my body text, I realize the text is too big to fit everything inside here. So what I'm going to do is select inside the body text. You don't have to do this, and I just moved it by accident. Control Z will undo. Select the text, and then go over here to where it says body text. Double click. And we're going to change the basic character formats to this one. Instead of Times New Roman size 12, let's shrink it down to Times New Roman size 10. Click OK. And now we can see our text has shrunk down, and we can see it a little bit more. We can still see it doesn't quite fit inside our boxes. So I'm going to create these boxes a little bit bigger, and it's still not quite fitting. So what I want to do is I want this to carry over to the next page as well. To do this, I'm going to create a new text box. And if you want the text box to be a specific size, you can, um, with the text box created, I can then click on the out box and grab the move tool. And it carries my text. If I click on the space bar on the keyboard, it lets me move through the document, and I'm going to link that text inside here. And I notice all that was left was the source from where I got that text. So I'm going to undo that. I don't need that box there. And I'm going to create a new text box inside this page. Then I'm going to link this box with the text here and it's showing up red because the text is too big and I can just move this around. Now you can lay out where you want this text to be. You can use ruler guides to get it to line up. I want both of these boxes to be lined up evenly so I select both of them by holding the shift key. With them selected I go up to window and then I go down to object and layout and then I go align or I press shift F7 on the keyboard. Now this will allow me to align the objects. I want to align them all, both up at the top so I can go ahead and do that. Oops, that's this tribute. Align is up here and notice how it moved the first one so that it's lined up. Now there's an extra space in here but with a little bit of tweaking you can make it look how you want. You can also take this text and notice how it's kind of jagged, it's right aligned. I can go back and I can change my paragraph styles for the body text and maybe I want the paragraph body text instead of uh, being formatted uh, to right align if I click on it is justification right here 